Here I am with Vincent Kavanagh. Daniel. Oh my God. <laughs> Put that on the video. <laughs> Hello, I'm Daniel Kavanagh, this is João. Yeah, I'm João, and Daniel is about to play, and he's really nervous, aren't you? I'm not nervous. He's not nervous. I'm never nervous. <laughs> I just woke up. But before we go on with this, let me explain you how I got here. One year ago, I was in London, and it was summer. Although, of course, it was cloudy, but still nice to be in London. I always loved music without frontiers. I always loved progressive rock. I quickly came to this lovely British label called Casco. Like I just got so inspired by the whole artistic spectrum that they were creating around each artist. I mean, what I like about Casco is that they clearly give their artists room to breathe. You can hear that, that comes through on, on, on an album. So to people at the label that genuinely care about the music, genuinely care about their artists, and they want to see progressive development, you'll get people that read Prog Magazine who think that progressive music should sound like Yes Made It in 1974, will sit there and tell you, well, none of that's prog. But, you know, that forward-thinking approach is far more progressive than trying to recreate a sound of 40 years ago. So, you know, that's, that's why I think they're onto a winner. People that we consume a lot of their content, people like artists, musicians, we put them in places that as if they are superhuman or as if they are unreachable or something. But when you actually meet the people behind labels, projects, bands, companies, it's just so interesting because in the end of the day you realize that they are just people and they all like just a nice cup of tea like you. Anathemas was uh, trying to do something over here. Today is the big day. Today is the 10 years anniversary of K-Scope. It will be here in central London at the Union Chapel. This whole thing was my idea, so nothing can go wrong. I guess as far as K-Scope is concerned, the label, I'm the man that does the audio marketing. I do a pretend radio show, the K-Scope podcast. Do subscribe and listen and share with your friends. I interview the bands, so rather than just playing the records, I interview the groups as well. But what I'm essentially doing is I'm getting them in a small corner, I'm saying, why should people bother listening to your record and making them justify themselves? And that kind of fits in nicely with the kind of like family feel of the label. <laughs> Good evening, Giancarlo. Good evening. Come stay. Ben, how are you? <laughs> I'm Ben A2. A tutu. A pa pa. pa pa pa. And why Casco? Casco, I think, is an interesting paradigm because it's trying to turn music in my opinion it's trying to make music premium product again the way everything's packaged the way it's recorded the way that the bands are trying to deal with big issues you know it's very very important more important than ever that people create beauty because there's so much ugliness mm -hmm. and i think that's something that kind of like unites all the groups Every, everybody's trying to make something very big and very beautiful and i think that's more important than ever Do 
I look like a king? Yeah. <laughs> Usually. Well, it's God sticks. So. That's true, yeah. And you are in church. Usually I got blood dripping from my eyes <laughs> when I'm in this kind of scenario, so I'm usually banned from churches. But yeah. <laughs> Till the gig starts, everything's kind of in last preparations inside, and no one means to be disturbed right now. There's some people in here already waiting for hours. Let's talk to them. I know that you are here for almost two hours already. <laughs> <laughs> so you are the biggest fan from all this time here. And so have you. And so have you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's come from America. She's a big fan. Yeah. American. Florida, yeah, she's yes. Florida. You came from Florida to be here. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Have a great show, guys. Thank, thank you. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you. She came from Florida. How crazy is this? I guess this is the great moment now. Ten years of K-Scope almost about to start. It seems quite cozy. The ambience, the general ambience is just amazing. There's just a really good feeling in here. Thank you. That's very kind of you to applaud me, uh, even though you don't know who I am. So I shall tell you who I am. My name's Billy Reeves. Thank you so much for coming and supporting the label. So give yourselves a round of applause. Basically, uh, 10 minutes ago, Scott told me that you were here and he said me, you should talk to her. So, uh, I like that here kind of preparation. Here I am, talking to you. <laughs> and so you are in Kaisco for two years, three years? Yeah, I think yeah. it's, it's going to be coming up for three years by the time the albums come out. I think one of the attractions of the label for me was the artistic freedom that they offered me. Mm -hmm. I'd made this record, which was quite an odd record. It's a concept album about a romance novelist set in the 1980s. They had a very kind of progressive, literary approach to um, modern alternative music. Um, it just seemed like the right home for me. What I really feel is that, uh, is that everyone comes together, right? Like all the musicians, there's, uh, there's this huge network, easy network of people that just come together and things happen, I think, in the middle. Yeah, there's a definitely a natural sense of collaboration. I seem to see a lot of that throughout the history of the label as well. Um, so if you look at Stephen Wilson's kind of multiple side projects and mm -hmm. different kind of monikers that he works. And do you see yourself in 10 years still in case Almost makes London terrible. You know, I think it's really hard to say what, what's going to happen in 10 years' time. Um, or do you plan to leave as soon as possible? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Where's the door? Where's the exit? <laughs> They're like family, you know. They're friendly, they're family, they are um, into the music. Um, they are built... into the music. Yeah, yeah they've, big... done, they've built the label up over time. And uh, it's been good. It's been good for us. Mm. And good for them too, I guess. Where the sea washes up, flowers on the beach. New Year's Day, New Year's Day. Beautiful inside If you can find a place Where there's a little space No one can find a room The ceremony is being marvelous and I'm just wandering around the backstage and I'm just going to show you what a backstage looks like. Thank <laughs> you. 
freaking out slightly well, now. No, um, <laughs> so Good luck, Frank Lane, please. Yes. 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 Y